Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix a really annoying error which happens a lot in Unity, which is the line endings error. And this will apply to all versions of Unity basically, no matter what kind of version of Unity you're running, this is a problem that always happens and when I update to a new version of Unity, the same error will probably crop up again and you'll have to uh, fix it every time. It's a little bit annoying, but it's a very simple and straightforward fix to do. So we're going to take a look at how to do it here. And basically the problem is when you go and create a new script in your game, whatever project you're working on, you open it up, you get this little error down here which says the file has line endings which differ from the policy, policy settings and you have to convert it to uh, Windows line endings, which is fine. It's not that much of a problem really, it's just something you have to click OK on and that will go away and then you can go on with whatever you're doing. But if you have to do that every single time you're creating a new script, it gets a little bit annoying as you go through things. So. The reason this happens is because Unity itself has started life as a Unix development kind of program. Um, so when you're programming things on Windows then, basically what happens is, on say on Unix or whatever, when you hit enter, how Unix handles that enter is slightly different from how Windows handles it. And you end up with this kind of mismatch format. And it's not really much of a problem. As you can see, all you really have to do is hit OK and it kind of sorts that out invisibly. It's vis Visually, it's no different to us, but it's an annoying problem that we want to fix. So the way you can fix it, basically, is you need to go into your installation folder for where you installed Unity. So I have it open here. So for me, it, I have it as in my program files and then Unity 5.4. By default, it'll just go to Unity. It would be program files and then a Unity folder, but I have a, a 5.4 here. So what you need to do then is go into Editor and then into Data down here, then down to Resources within that folder, and then finally we go to Script Templates. And basically these are a variety of different things that are used to create their, your default starting point. So basically it holds, when you create a new script, this is what tells it to have all of this stuff in your new script. So what we'll do is copy this. I'm going to paste it into another random folder somewhere else on your computer. So we'll just paste it in there. And we'll actually, what we'll actually do here is create a folder here called old that we're going to drop that one into. And we're going to create another folder called new. And in the new folder here, we're going to create a new document. So I'm just going to go down to here and create a new text document. And we'll just leave it as new text document for the moment. We're going to change the name of that in a few minutes but we'll leave it as it is for the moment so I'm just going to drag this one over here and we'll go open up the old one so that's our C sharp script here as you can see it kind of comes up with all this it's squashed down into this like simple little uh, format here but what we're going to do is rewrite all of this over here and rewrite it in the way that we want it to appear within uh, monodevelop so what we'll do is make sure we copy everything that it says over here the exact same so we'll use using unity engine and then a semicolon then using system dot collections then we want to go down two lines what as, as I said we want to make sure that it looks the same as our stuff over here looks so we want to make sure that we keep the same amount of spacing between things like that now what this what you'll actually see here is that if you wanted to do things slightly differently, so if you didn't want to have this little comment line on each one, you could just leave that off and not type that in over here if you wanted to. But we're going to try and keep it as the same as we possibly can. So we're going to say here, public class, and then we type in hash script name. And that's the little bit that tells Unity where to type in whatever you call your script. So for example, I've called this script here testing Then it will fill in here testing right there. So it's just it's just Unity's shorthand way of doing that So we have public class script name and then we want to say mono Behavior Then we want to have an open bracket then we go down two lines and then tab in once and We put in our little comments. So that's use this for Initialization. We should put a little space here. Then we'll go down one line and again we'll tab in. Um, and we'll type in our void start. 
then two brackets, then an open bracket. So then we want to uh, move down one and we'll tab in twice so that that creates a start point for where we start typing our extra stuff. Then we'll move down one more line, tab in once again and put our curly bracket. So that's the end of our little start function. So then we'll move down two lines again and we're going to type in our second comment which is update is called once per frame. Then again down and tab in and we'll have our void update then our bracket and then our open curly bracket. And we'll do the same thing again. We'll go down once, tab in twice, go down once, tab in once and we'll close that bracket. And then finally we'll close the top bracket up here. And that's our whole basic script written. So as you can see if we look over here, it's all the exact same as this. Obviously the tabs look a little bit bigger in our Word and our notepad here, but that's okay. That doesn't make any actual differences to how it'll look here. So we can save this now and I'll close that and if we go back in here so we have our old one open what we need to do is make sure we have the exact same script name we're going to copy that then we're going to go into our new and we're going to highlight our new text document we're going to paste that in there as our new script name and then we're going to copy that over to here back into where our, we originally took our template from and we're going to paste it in I'm going to replace the file in the destination and if you need to get provide your administrator, depending on which version of uh, Windows you have. So there we go, we've pasted it back in there now. And now to demonstrate that it should work absolutely perfectly fine for us, we're going to go back in here. And that's going to compile for a second. And we're going to create a new script, new C sharp script that we'll call fixed, just for the sake of it. And we'll open this up. And when that opens here, now you can see we no longer get the little error at the bottom of the screen, which caused us so much annoyance as we're going through making um, scripts. So there you go. That's all we have to do. Uh, fix is actually a really bad name, I just realized, because fix is a term that's used within Unity, so don't normally call your scripts fixed, but that's okay. Uh, but as you can see, everything else is perfectly fine, just the way we want it to be. Um, fix is actually a really bad name. Hold on, I'm going to create a new just to make sure, because we saw there the mono behavior wasn't shaded quite right. So we'll just call this fix2 because that's not something that's reserved by Unity. And you'll see, there we go. It goes the normal color just the way we want it to. So, perfect. That's all you need to do to fix that really annoying error. It's very simple and very straightforward, but it'll save you a lot of time as you kind of go forward and you're creating scripts in Unity. So thanks for watching this video and check back soon for more gaming tutorial goodness. Thanks for watching this episode, and if you want to learn more about developing your own games, you can follow the link on screen to my complete 2D platformer game development course on Udemy, where you will learn how to program and build a complete game in Unity 2D with multiple levels, enemies, and unique boss battles. So click the link on screen or in the description below and get the course today.